Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AdamyTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at the nitration of benzene. Now we're mainly going to focus on the um, mechanism that's required for this reaction. Uh, I'm going to show you the steps that's required uh, to, in order to nitrate a benzene ring. Um, and we're going to show um, the catalyst that's involved and the conditions that you need and the uses as well of nitration. So you get quite a lot in this video. So you're going to start with um, looking at what type of reaction we actually have. Now, the mechanism type is a, um, well, the reaction is called nitration, but the name of the mechanism is electrophilic substitution. So we need an electrophile and we need to substitute something. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to split it into the, those two parts first. So um, the electrophile that we need to make in this case is NO2 plus. And um, well, actually, the thing that we're substituting is a hydrogen on the benzene, and it can be split into two parts. So the first step is to make your NO2 plus, and your second step is to substitute the hydrogen on the benzene. So um, the ingredients, or the, should I say, the reagents that we actually need are um, benzene, we need concentrated sulfuric acid, and we need concentrated nitric acid as well. It's very important that they've got to be concentrated. Um, this doesn't work as well with um, dilutes, so you've got to be specific in the exam. Don't just put sulfuric and nitric, you've got to put concentrated as well. Right, so step one is to make our NO2+. plus. So this is like the prep stage, we need to make the electrophile. So, because benzene is so, so stable, um, we need to make a really um, aggressive electrophile, something that really wants the electron. So you need something with a positive charge. Um, now, ions will exist in solutions, so we need two solutions, and our solutions to make RNO2 plus is sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Now, if we wrap these two together, um, you may look at them and you think, well, they're both acids, which is true, um, but uh, one of them is more, uh, stronger acid than the other, um, and this sulfuric acid is your stronger acid. Now, um, this is described as a bronsted lowry acid, which means that um, an acid is a proton donor and a, uh, a base is a proton acceptor. Um, so, we're just going to write down the products of this reaction. So if our sulfuric acid donates a proton to this, then effectively what you make is HSO4 minus, because this has lost the proton, uh, and you're going to make uh, H2NO3 plus, okay? Because that has actually gained a proton. Um, now, this looks quite unstable, and it is, and this reaction actually will undergo, uh, will actually occur very, very quickly. So um, this then, this is the first step, so I'll put that as step one, and then what happens is this uh, molecule here, H2NO3 uh, plus, will actually decay to form NO2 plus uh, plus H2O. Now, we call this our nitronium ion. This is the, uh, the name that we give to this. So this is your NO2 plus, and this is actually your electrophile, and that's what we're writing there as well. This is our electrophile, uh, it's very, very reactive. Uh, electrophile, there we go. And um, I will come back onto this reagent in a minute. Um, so this is our electrophile, which is NO2 plus. This is done separately in a separate beaker, uh, and we've made our electrophile. Then once we've done that, we then have another beaker, or a test tube, or whatever you're reacting it with, uh, and in there we have a benzene compound. Now this could be, in this case we're going to use benzene, but it could be a derivative of benzene if you do it in school. Um, so we have this in a separate solution. Now this reaction, um, this is actually sat in, um, preferably in an ice, uh, ice container or like an, an ice bath, um, because actually when we add on this, our electrophile to this, it generates a lot of heat, and that could prove problematic, which I'll explain in a minute. So there's our benzene ring. Um, we're going to draw our mechanism. So what happens is you've got NO2 plus. Now this is an electrophile, so this is going to go for something with a high electron density. Our high electron density is in the middle there, and your mechanism is actually, well, the curly arrows is the direction of electron travel. So our electrons are coming from the benzene in the middle, the electrons in the middle, to the NO2 plus. Um, and it's very important that you draw it from the circle in the middle. Now, what you form is this product here. So we're just going to draw this out. And this is very, very important that you get this bit right. So we're going to add our NO2 plus on this side. 
So we're going to put NO2 on there, and our hydrogen is also there as well. Now, because we've added our NO2, you can see that this carbon in particular has now got one, two, three, four bonds. So we can't have our delocalized system around that carbon there uh, because it would have too many bonds. So what we have instead is we have a breaking of the ring structure. We have a positive charge in the middle because effectively we've added a positive uh, molecule uh, to our compound, to our benzene ring. So overall, the whole benzene is positively charged. So now this is going to be very unstable. If you notice, see where I've drawn my horseshoe shape, which is this one here. Uh, if you notice, this line doesn't go beyond. That's the carbon that we've actually attacked. It doesn't go beyond the adjacent carbons to the carbon that's been attacked. That's really, really important. And make sure that you get that detail correct, because uh, you could lose marks if you don't do that. So you can see here, very unstable. So it is a substitution reaction. We are substituting our hydrogen. So we've added our nitrogen, and then this electrons, the electrons from this hydrogen here, will then go in into that positive charge, uh, and it will stabilize that uh, compound. Uh, and obviously, what you form is this. So your delocalized structure is reformed because the electron from the bond has gone in to reform it. The NO2 is now attached. This is called nitrobenzene. Uh, and then what you have is a H plus ion that is then floating around um, in solution. So this is your nitrobenzene compound. Now, I did say right at the start that actually this has to be stored in ice. Now, the reason why is because this reaction is very, very exothermic. It gives out a lot of heat. Uh, and if your heat, if you get a lot of heat, you generally get multiple nitration. So this one, we've only substituted one hydrogen. Um, but once you've weakened, once you've added something to it, your benzene structure is actually weakened now because the electrons are now being um, spread over and to include the nitrogen as well. Uh, because it's been weakened, it means it's um, a lot more susceptible for attack by an electrophile. So if you give it the energy to do that, in other words, the heat energy, then uh, you will get multiple nitration. and That might not be exactly what you want, and you get a lot of impurities. So just be aware of that. And the conditions to do single uh, nitration are generally under 10 degrees Celsius. So um, just bear in mind that little bit of detail as well. Okay, the final thing is um, just showing how the, um, or what the catalyst is in this reaction. Now, if we come back up to this reagent here, this is our HSO4 minus that, that we added. So we added this mixture here into our benzene. Um, now the NO2 plus has reacted with the benzene, but we've still got a really reactive species here. And the proton from this reaction actually reacts with that to reform your sulfuric acid. Uh, and that's proof that actually um, uh, that this reaction uh, has a catalyst and the catalyst is sulfuric acid. Because the definition of a catalyst is something that is um, reformed, is never used up in your reaction. And so um, make sure that if they ask in the exam um, the equation to show the catalyst being reformed, it's just the H plus from here plus HSO4 minus will form H2SO4. Um, there are other videos as well that look into the um, Friedel Crafts acylation as well. So um, if you want to have a look at that, you just click on the link below uh, and you can have a look at that one as well. Um, but other than that, um, Make sure that you know your two steps, um, this one and this one. Uh, make sure that you write your equations properly and make sure these mechanisms here are correct as well and you've, um, you've addressed the points that I've actually uh, mentioned. That's it. Hope that helps. Bye.